I'm Elian, and today I'm going to show you three different decorative stitches that you can do on your machine, and it takes no more effort than just a straight line quilting. For this, I'm using a regular open toe foot, and then I've got some cotton quilting thread in my machine as well, and a regular needle. I'm going to start with this really nice multi-stitch zigzag. I have my stitch width set to a seven, which is the widest it goes on my machine, and my stitch length is a three, which is the stitch length I normally use when I'm quilting. I'm gonna set my foot right next to my line, and I'm gonna start stitching. machine does all the work for me, leaving it with this awesome texture. The second stitch I like to do is this nice wavy line quilting. On my machine, I'm going to set it to the widest that it goes, and on this one it's a nine. And again, my stitch length is going to be a three. Following the line that I've made with the edge of my foot, I'm going to start quilting. Anytime that I'm quilting, I always make sure to take it a little slower than I want to, even if I want to speed right through it. It helps the machine to be able to evenly feed all those layers, leaving you with a beautiful texture and no puckers. The last stitch that I like to do is the scallop stitch. I call it a scallop stitch, a cloud, maybe some waves, depending which way you orientate it on your quilt. For this one, I'm gonna find the stitch on my machine. I'm gonna set my stitch width again, the widest it goes, that just makes sure it covers the most area that it can. and my stitch length is going to be a 2.5 this time. It's the widest that it goes for the stitch. This one takes a little bit more time, so just make sure to take your time, take it slow, so that we really get that beautiful texture. me was made with this type of decorative stitching. I used the multi-stitch zigzag for it. And you can see all the fun texture that it brings from uh, this stitching. Anytime that you're quilting, you always want to make sure that you aren't pulling or pushing the quilt through, just letting your machine to do its job properly. And that's three different fun decorative stitches that you can make at home using your machine.